Hey guys, um, today I'm going to do a review on the uh, Thermaltake Blue Orb 2 cooler. Uh, socket 775 AMD K8. It's a uh, basically an aluminum thin cooler with a copper base. Uh, runs on most Intel, uh, newer Intel sockets uh, for Pentium uh, 4 socket 775s, Intel Pentium Ds. Uh, AMD Semtron, Opertron, Athlons. Um, it uh, looks like a pretty good size cooler. Uh, let's open it up and um, see what all you get in the package. Well, this is what comes in the package. Here's your uh, plastic backing plate that goes behind the motherboard to uh, mount it on. Uh, comes with a couple extra long standoffs if you have a uh, motherboard where the processor sits up a little higher and you need a little gap between the cooler and the uh, board. Here's the mounting brackets themselves uh, with the four bolts or four screws I should say that will mount through the motherboard to the brackets. Uh, four fiber washers to go onto the screws and a package of their thermal compound. This is uh, Thermal Take's own brand I assume. Um, but we're going to uh, start getting this motherboard ready to uh, mount this on. Okay, we uh, mounted the brackets on here. It's a fairly simple install. I still have the uh, Thermaltake water block bracket on there. I just kept it on there because it was stuck to the board. I didn't want a chance wrecking the board pulling it off for this, so we just ran the screws through it. Uh, two screws on each bracket. And just uh, put a little thermal paste on your CPU, and we're ready to uh, set the cooler down there. It's a fairly heavy cooler, so you probably want to make sure it's supported well. Okay, well, to say this thing is huge is an understatement. This is like the Arnold Schwarzenegger-sized cooler. Um, if you can see, you can barely fit a sheet of paper between the power supply and the uh, cooler. It's that tight of a fit. And on the uh, rear fan here, I had to flip the grill backwards, or, you know, basically inside out to clear it. And also had to go back to the stock Asus Northridge cooler, because obviously there's no room for my 80mm uh, cooler there. Uh, it is big, so we're going to find out if uh, size really does matter on coolers. Um, let's plug this in and see what we get for temperature. Okay, here's a shot of it uh, up and running. Not too bad looking, runs fairly quiet. Um, so far on temperatures, uh, this, I don't know if you can make that out, this is under load right now. Uh, we had an idle temperature of about 36 on the processor, 30 on the uh, north bridge. Uh, load temperature 42 on the processor, uh, just jumped to 43. And uh, motherboard at 34. So uh, not too bad for a cheap cooler. Um, it's not one of the high end like a Zalman, but uh, for the price, it sure beats the uh, stock ones that come with these processors. Uh, I would highly recommend it for somebody that's looking for something uh, middle of the road, maybe do a little overclocking with, but not getting too carried away. Otherwise, you might want to spend more money on a Zalman or something like that. But uh, that's it for this review. I'll do a follow-up later after we run it for a few days and see how it works out. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already, and remember to comment.